I'm Brent Demartini here with Demartini RV and I'm really excited to show you the brand new 2017 Thor Aria. This is a new line that they just came out with. We're the first ones to do a video on it. This is the Aria 3601. So why don't you follow me? I'm excited to show you. Let's check out and see what this line's all about. So right away you'll notice the fiberglass step, shiny porcelain tile floor, and look at the new modern colors in here. You have the Pacific cherry wood, a little bit darker, and you've got the brand new Corian countertops. There's a tile backsplash behind them, induction stove, you have a pull-out countertop here. So you have just a little extra work area. To the left of the induction stove, there's a stainless steel double sink. This RV is a quad slide 36. So with this floor plan, this is this is the the best floor plan that we had for the Tuscany XTE. Um, you've got the the seating over there with a booth dinette. The booth dinette makes into a bed, a smaller bed, and this couch makes into a queen air mattress. And this is Williamsburg furniture, really comfortable. You have a fireplace in your living room across from the couch, LG TV and soundbar above that. And with this floor plan, you get the split bath. One of the advantages of the quad slide 36 is the hallway space. So even when the slides come in, you still maintain this hallway all the way forward. And I'll show you that a little bit later. In the hallway there, you'll notice that with the, with the split bath, you do get the bigger shower. Nice, spacious shower. So when I get in here, you can notice how there's just a lot of elbow room in here. And there's lots of storage. It also has an integrated fiberglass seat. And it's a one-piece fiberglass shower. So really easy to use and spacious. Across from there, you have a towel rack on the door, which also closes off the hallway. And your toilet is at an angle, so it's easier and more spacious to use. You also have a linen closet behind the toilet with lots of room in there. And the towel backsplash and a medicine, dual medicine cabinet. Now back here in the bedroom, you'll notice this is a king size mattress, Denver mattress. You have a full wardrobe behind it. Where you can hang all of your clothes. with a rack above it to where you can put stuff like shoes and whatnot. Uh, there are USB chargers on either side of the bed with a nightstand on each side. You have a reading light up above on each side which can be turned on and off just at the light itself. There's some pretty deep storage above the bed here. So that goes all the way across. And on the other side of the bed, you have your stack washer dryer. Another LG TV, which lifts up and all of your components are mounted behind it. You've got a, a Blu-ray player and switch box there so you can add any additional things that you want to like a direct TV receiver. Over here, you've also got 
another pull out and this is for you can mount shirts to it and stuff um, an adjustable shelf that you can put down below and these drawers are really big there's a lot of storage in this bedroom they maximized all the space on on this floor plan so they were able to get a little more space where the bed goes over the slide um, and also use that as a sitting area so you can put your shoes on here or whatever you need to do in the morning um, there's your fire escape and that's pretty much it for the bedroom this RV is equipped with the multiplex firefly wiring system so you can essentially control everything from this main control panel in the coach. Uh, there's, for instance, if you click on the lighting here, you can just click light master off and it turns all the lights off in the coach. Or you can turn them all on with a different button. Um, another thing that's neat about the lights in this coach is the ones in the kitchen and in the living room, if they have this little arrows here, you can dim them. So if you hold this, it dims the kitchen lights. And you can do the same thing for the living room lights. Now I wanna show you a couple other features on this coach. Uh, one of which is the Whisper Quiet AC. So this coach is equipped with um, circulating ducting. So the middle vents are blowing and the outside vents over here are the intake so it's the air is going to be doing this basically and it's a lot more efficient it pulls from the inside of the coach so it's not constantly pulling from the outside of the coach so you get a lot more cooling action when you're cooling the same air um, also this coach is equipped with two pull-out pantries here's one Here's another. And one of the main features of this coach that we're really excited about is the cockpit. They've totally redesigned the cockpit for Thor Diesels. Uh, this, is, this is a unique cockpit that is subject only to the Aria. So you'll notice there's some nice design things like there's some real leather here on the dash. All of the gauges are really easy to see from the driver's standpoint. Um, you've also got some neat looking wood grain finish. All of the switches are laid out for the driver's convenience. And they've gone to a dual monitor. They've isolated the camera system into one monitor so that you're never distracted from the cameras with the radio. Everything is on this one screen for your cameras and then your radio is completely separate. There's a pull out drawer right here where you can put a few little things. And another thing about this cockpit is the entire seat and everything is moved forward as much as possible and that does two things for you one driver visibility you're closer to the mirrors you're closer to your windshield you can see things that are closer in front of you and you can see better uh, number two you can do a lot more with a floor plan since they moved everything up they were able to squeeze as many inches out of the floor plan as possible while still keeping your coach short. So that's pretty much it for the Aria cockpit. We get a lot of requests from our, our YouTube viewers to see the coach with the slides in. So here's the 3601 Aria with the slides in. As you can see, there's still plenty of room to walk through and access anything that you need to. You 
can see the bed goes over the shelf, but you still have access to be able to climb onto the bed from this side. So you can take a nap going down the road. So as you can see, you still have full access to your bathroom with the slides in. And a lot of access to your kitchen if you need to do any food preparation on the road and your refrigerator. Here we are on the exterior of the Aria 3601. So if you'll follow me around, I'll show you all the features. This is full body paint. Dual fuel fills. They're up high so they're easier to get to. Michelin tires. This coach comes with all side latch doors. There's a pretty good storage compartment. If you'll notice on the storage compartments, there's a crowned molding on the top so that you have a, you have a better chance of not getting any leaks. This compartment has a slide tray in it. Some extra porcelain tiles there. These are the actual tiles that they use inside. So you can see that they're just really heavy duty, thick porcelain. Here's the exterior TV. And they've added a sound bar on this. So that is a standard 42 inch exterior TV. And some more storage. That's a full pass through. You could add another one of those slide trays if you wanted to in the future. Here's the water tank. Nice and easy access. You have the gravity fill and you can also see the level of the water on the sight level gauge there. Here are your chassis batteries. This comes with two 12 volt sealed batteries, high cranking amps. solar controller mounted in here and this is also your magnum energy compartment so your inverter your solar controller and everything else can be thermostatically cooled with a fan in here and there's just access to a little bit more storage there and your power steering fluid <laughs> This comes with a 10,000 pound tow hitch. It's got the Allison 3000 MH transmission, so you can feel free to tow up to 10,000 pounds. This has the 360 horse Cummins ISB engine with the 6.7 liter. Over here. This comes standard with the surge guard, power protection, and four six volt house batteries. And there's also your 50 amp service cord. Diesel exhaust fluid is located on the driver's side, the right location. And here's your wet bay. Nice, easy to access layout. Everything's mounted up high so you can be assured that it will dump correctly. You have in-house filtration, winterizing valves, as well as your low point drains and your fresh water tank valve. And the water pump is nice and easy to access in there too. 
and the other side of your pass-through storage. And here's your propane tank. This coach has a huge propane tank, 32 gallons. And that's access for your fridge plug, as well as your ice maker valve. Down here we have the hydraulic pump used for your leveling jacks. And if you'll follow me around to the front, we'll show you the generator compartment. with the 8,000 watt generator, the Cummins Onan quiet diesel, and has an air horn, as well as access to your windshield wiper fluid. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed the tour. Now I'm gonna go take a ride with my little niece.